Hi everybody! Today I wanted to do a little addendum video to go with that live mocha video that I released on Monday. Uh, it seems that I have overlooked a few things and I feel that I need to first of all apologize that I didn't actually spend enough time on the website to come up with these things beforehand, uh, but also I need to kind of clarify uh, my opinion about live mocha. First of all, uh, whenever I made the first video I told you I was going to tell you uh, when I found response to uh, my text and uh, voice entries that I had made whenever I recorded the video. I recorded the video on the 19th of December and right now this is December 31st when I'm recording this video and I still haven't heard anything back from them at all. Like nothing. So that's a total of 12 days where I haven't heard anything whatsoever. And 12 days can be a huge difference when you're learning a language. 12 days without any feedback whatsoever, that's kind of a big deal. Uh, so I do. I went ahead and tried out the uh, professional entries version, um, and I haven't heard anything back on that one either. Uh, it says that I'll receive an email about it whenever I get some feedback, but as of right now, there is no feedback. I did that one about five days ago or so, and I still haven't heard anything back from them about the professional version, which by the way cost me like 1,400 coins or something stupid like that. I found out through Reddit that apparently it is not supported on Chromebooks, uh, meaning that if you have a Chromebook or if you know anyone who has a Chromebook, they can't even use Live Mocha. It comes up with some error page that tells them that basically I think you're a phone and therefore I can't let you go to my website, which is stupid for a long list of reasons. Um, I've never actually heard of a website that won't let a Chromebook go to it because, well, Chromebooks were built for the internet. So there's that complaint. Also apparently Apparently, uh, I didn't. I don't think I mentioned this in the previous video. Uh, there is no app, so if you're going to use this, you have to go to a computer. Um, you can't really get it to work well on your cell phone from the uh, internet browser there. Uh, so you are going to have to go directly to the computer, uh, which isn't a huge deal for language learning software, but you know it is kind of a, a small gripe that I have. Uh, another complaint that I have that uh, Reddit went ahead and did the math on this for me, uh, I didn't realize how much the coins cost in order to uh, kind of build up whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, so while in the course of the video making that I've done over the last couple of weeks, I've spent about 20,000 coins uh, so far. but. If that's the case, I never actually, I finished, what, three lessons and spent 20,000 coins, so uh, that's a big chunk of coins that I ended up throwing out there just to uh, kind of test out the program. Uh, apparently it's going to take you about eight to nine reviews of other people's lessons that you did, uh, you know, the ones that I never get any feedback on. If you review other people's, then you can get some coins. It's going to take you about eight to nine of those to uh, buy a lesson at $69.99 for your coins. Uh, which means essentially you're going to spend about half of your time that you're on the website trying to help other people rather than trying to help yourself, which I know sounds selfish at first, but that's kind of the reason you went to their website to begin with. So it's not that selfish that you would want to increase your own language learning rather than increasing someone else's. And then my biggest gripe, the one that has been annoying me ever since I made this video, and uh, I've made a comment on the other video about this, but it's still a huge complaint for me. This system is essentially a huge advertisement for Rosetta Stone. It is driving me insane. It has emailed me almost every single day of the week, Monday through Friday, every week since the 19th. Yeah, I know that's only been like two and a half weeks ago, but that's two and a half weeks ago of an email a day. The only day that they didn't email me was Christmas Day. They emailed me Christmas Eve and the day after Christmas. They have emailed me every single weekday, Monday through Friday, for almost two and a half weeks now. And they have told me, oh, you can get a great deal on Rosetta Stone. It's still a couple hundred dollars, which I don't have, which is why I'm reviewing a free website. It's not something that's in the budget. If I wanted to buy Rosetta Stone, your advertising bots for that you've had for everything else would have already told me that I can get Rosetta Stone for whatever price, and I could probably just go to your website or Google it and find the same deals that you're trying to send to me daily through my email. I do not want Rosetta Stone. I have no desire to buy Rosetta Stone, and it makes me really, really angry 
to find that I have to have an email every single day from a website that I signed up for because it was free so that I can try and get a program that's going to cost me several hundred dollars. Don't get me wrong, Rosetta Stone is a great program. It probably does really, really well, but I have no chance of ever actually testing that out and letting you know your actual opinion about Rosetta Stone because it's several hundred dollars, and I don't need an email telling me I can get a stinking coupon for it every single day when I'm obviously poor enough that I'm trying out a website called Live Mocha, which has some of the worst audio quality I have ever heard on a language learning software. So. In closing, I cannot, in good conscience, support Live Mocha or their business practices. Maybe things will get better in the future, as there is an update in the works. But when that happens, I'm sure I'll get an email about it.